Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's been a little while, it's been about, I think about two weeks since my last shaving video, and then before that there was a couple, and then a long time before that. However, I did contract the flu, so I've been quite unwell, and as you can see, I look like shit, however I am actually feeling better. I've got about, oh Christ, no, it's about 14 days growth on my head, and I think about 11 days on my neck. I've just trimmed my cheeks just a little bit with a dry eraser and the beard is still there. So I am going to try and have a shave today, keep the beard, tidy it up, shape it up, up a bit and then see how we go. But first off, let's get stuck into the head shave. Now this is a no prep, no pre-shower, no nothing head shave. I'm basically going to wet my hair, load up the brush, start lathering and then shave it off. I'm going to be using a straight razor, a combination of a straight, a double edge and a head light. I've not had my shower yet because I know this is going to be really messy so I'm going to shave my head, have my shower and then shave my neck and face so it'll be two separate videos but let's get stuck in So for today is going to be Talon Steel Maya and I love the labels on this, absolutely superb labels all the way around as well there is the ingredients list if you want to have a little look at that can pause and have a look or jump onto the website which is probably a lot easier now the scent on this if you whip around the top here if you actually read all the way around this whole thing which i wouldn't leave up there but it does say here dark spicy scent made from the oils of fine ingredients cocoa coffee tobacco cardamom allspice lime and sour orange now the scent on it, it is quite a dark colored soap it smells like a sort of zingy fizzy citrusy cola that's what i get it's a little bit spicier than just a normal Coca-Cola, but I do smell cola in there, and that's what it sort of reminds me of. And it's the reason why I like it. It smells very gourmand, and it's a very nice scent. The brush for today, really, I love this brush, but it also matches very, very well with the colours on the label. And the brush today is my Turn and Shave Custom, and this has got a 30ml whipped dog bore. Very short loft, not the densest of knots, very, very crazy. The way the hair sort of go, you can see it's just all stuck together there. But as you can see, it does match up very well with the Maya label. So straight into the soap. <coughs> I haven't used Maya for quite a while. I haven't used Talon Steel for quite a while, to be honest. I've actually got far too many soaps, <laughs> in all honesty. And I do fly out to Canada in... So... What's the date today? Is it the first today? I think it's the first today, so... 22 days. In fact, sorry, it's 20. 21 days today, actually. Fly out on Saturday the 22nd, I think it is. <coughs> and I can't wait. I really can't wait. It's been a long time coming. I've been in touch with Carmine over at Top of the Chain in Canada. So I'm hoping to arrange to meet up with him and grab some stuff from him. I've been on his website, picked out a few things that I like, so hopefully we can sort something out when I get there. I've also sent a message off to Razor Rock to see if I can sort out visiting them as well, but to this date, I still haven't heard anything back. Right, so then, come on, stick on me. There's the brush, heavily loaded. Now, because I've got a lot of hair on my head, it will not create a lather like I would pref normally like. I can create a bigger ladder with way less hair on my head. It's a lot more difficult when you've got a full head of hair like this. But let's see what we can do. Let's move my mirror over there so I can see the back of my head. I've lost two hairs there. It's very, very unusual. I can't actually see, I really remember losing any hairs out of this brush. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's quite difficult to get stuck in and build a big lather. But what I'm going to do is just splay the brush like so. So we get pretty much a big hollow in it like that. And then I'm just going to drip water in like that into the the hollow in the brush and then splat it back onto my head again. This is something that I'm sure loads of people do. 
but the person that I remember doing it most and that I actually sort of picked it up from was Michael Friedberg whose channel has actually been doing really well lately, he's been putting a lot of content out, really nice guy Clipping my hair down to a more manageable length for shaving, but I thought I still haven't sent off my Henkel's Freero to be honed. It was supposed to be sent off, and I just haven't had the time to be honest. So it's still here, and it hasn't been honed. But what I have done is I've stropped it. I wouldn't say excessively, but I stropped it more than it probably really needed. Just to try and get a bit of an edge back on it. And I've no idea how well it's going to work, but if I can knock down... The biggest majority of the hair. And I think that's good enough. Now that is about as good as I'm going to get. Now as you can see it's not a dense, sorry it's not a voluminous ladder, but it's certainly dense. And I can see it's nice and thick. I just can't seem to build a voluminous ladder. When I've got so much hair on my head, it's near on impossible. Right. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm just going to start this shoe off with my above the tie calypso. Now I've got a Gillette super thin blade in there. I chopped the wrapper in the bottom, I didn't, I kept it out. I thought I did. So that is the blade that's in it. It's also in my carb razor for today for the face shave as well. But that's the blade that's in it. This one's been used before and all I'm going to do with this really is just touch up. Fix up the, the bit round my ears. Now I could potentially do my whole head with this razor. It's an excellent razor. It's very efficient, but it's very comfortable as well. I think the one thing that does get me with this one, especially with long hair, I think it does clog up a little bit. Not much, but it does clog up. Right, here we go. I have not used one of these for quite a while now. Certainly I've only used it once or twice in my head. The Henkel's Freedor, I think it's seven eighths, six eighths. I'm not hundred percent sure, but you hold it like this, or I hold it like this for a head shave, and basically just pull it straight along. Now I learned, didn't learn, but I do pretty much follow the technique of the... It's terrible. I can't remember his bloody name there. He's got some beautiful straight razors, some really big straight razors. I think he said he suffers from carpal tunnel or something. He suffers from an issue with his wrist or his, his muscles or something, and he really struggles. So. I think he's just trying to get the best as he can out of what he's got left at the moment before things start possibly going downhill. But that's terrible, I can't remember his bloody name now. His channel name at least. I can't remember his name either. I don't know if I actually knew his name. Right, so here we go. Straight against the green. Look at that. I know that's disgusting. Could almost go to work like that. Mm. 
Now, like I say, this isn't about, I think actually, rather than filling the sink up with dirty here, I might just do what some people do and just wipe it off in a piece of, well, they probably don't use toilet roll, but that's what I'm using. <laughs> For those that don't know, I actually raffled off my Drew Dick. It's no longer in the den. It just wasn't. I don't know. Do I like using the straight razors? I actually do. I really enjoy it. But I don't have the time to commit to it. There's no way in hell I was honing them myself. I'm not actually sure whether this is taking much hair off now at the back. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to finish off the whole back of my head. Just with This is just with the grain. I'll finish off with the DE. Well, the proof is always in what you can see. It's certainly taking something off. through there. <laughs> what a freaking mess. And that lather is so dense. I know that's full of hair, but it's so creamy and dense. Right. So that is me done. I am done with the hinkles. I'm just going to dry it off. Now I know that that is not perfect. It's nowhere near it. But from where I started, I'm a whole lot closer to a full clean head shape. <laughs> as much of that off as I can. Well, the sink's filling back up. Straight back on with the brush. And create nothing. So let's just dip the tips back into the soap. This is the, the downside sometimes of a bowl brush. No matter how good it is. And these are excellent knots from Flip Dog. But the other problem being is when it's sat there for so long. I'm the back in a second. Now my back. So as you can see, the ladder 
is building pretty nicely the second time around. There's loads of hair in it, as you, well, as you can imagine. <laughs> So I'm now going to finish off with the head blade. Now this has got the three blade cartridge on it. I'm not a massive fan of the three blade cart. I think it's a bit, it just clogs up too much. I can get into clean it very well. It's not that great, but it will finish off this shave wonderfully. Clears out, raise the blue well. That has done okay, but not brilliant. Right. That's starting to starting to clog up already. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch to something I haven't used in ages. It's just sat right in front of me, it's stuck on my mirror, and that is the Omni Shaver. Ten blades, five facing one way, five facing the other. Dip it in the water. If I literally just go like this. Right, now I can finish off just to show you as well that it's crystal clear after shredding all that off. I should be able to finish with the head blade now. So it defeats the purpose of using 25 different types of razors, but why not? It's going to be a long head shave no matter what. Let's make a mess of it. Right, I'm just going to paint on a little bit of ladder. Obviously quite an extensive head shave compared to what I'm used to. So it really is super slick stuff.
still clogging up like mad. Like I say, it's a phenomenal little razor. But it's certainly not without its flaws. Right, I think that's the head shape done. Yes, it took a while, but it feels good all the same. I'll probably need to replace that cartridge. today or the software or the soap was Maya from Tallow and Steel. Beautiful sort of Coca-Cola scented soap. I know they did a Coca-Cola original scented soap. I can't remember what it was called, Formula 375 or something. But apparently it didn't go down too well in the shaving community in terms of actually people having reactions to the soap from all the, the spices and stuff that were in it. But I think by all accounts it smelled incredible. Just rinsing the brush out now, just getting all this head hair out. So as you can see, that's the, the knot in the brush here, 13 mil whip dog bore. And it's a, a real funky looking crazy knot, it really is. Beautiful handle, made by Milton over at Turn and Shave. It really is a stunning little brush and performs as good as anything on the market, in my opinion, for what it is but I still prefer my synthetics. And to be fair, as much as I enjoy bore, I really enjoy using bore brushes, I do find a badger brush to be better to use. I am going to rinse the soap out, even though I'm going to be using it again very soon, but I do have pretty much an OCD when it comes to this sort of thing. I have to clean my soap out once I use it. That is the soap, nice and clean. And the razors for today were started off by the Above the tie Calypso R1 with a Gillette super thin blade in there. I then completed pretty much the full first or the full first pass with the Henkel's Freador, which is a beautiful, beautiful straight. I don't know enough about it to really go with seven eighths, blah blah blah. I don't really know. I think it's half hollow. I'm not, still not sure on that either. I then sort of tackled a little bit with the head blade and struggled. And as you can see, those blades. Oh, I'm hoping you can see. A pretty full up, full of shit and gunk in here. So I pulled this out. Now this has done about 40 or 50 shaves now. And it still shaves really well. And the blades, as you can see, are crystal clear, even after that short stint. All you do is just rinse it under the water, <coughs> blow through it. I'm just gonna rinse it and shake it today though, because I just realized I have had the flu. And what's the point in putting flu bugs on a freaking razor? Look at that, I'll take them off. And finished off, once again, with the head blade, which is a great razor, great shaver. The three blade carts are pretty shit in my opinion, but it still does a good job. I will be finishing with Maya from Tallow and Steel after Shave Splash as well, which is top of the range, high in quality ingredients, organic, all that sort of thing, excellent stuff. And that's me done a dusted head shave done. It's been a while coming. I've been really looking forward to it. Done a pretty good job, I think. I just need to try and fix this beard now, fix all this neck here, which looks freaking dreadful. And see if I can salvage this beard, because if not, it's coming off. 
if I can get something half decent with it. I have styes sort of grooming it to come down to a point down here. That's the, the sort of goal at the moment. That's where I'm aiming. See how it goes. And other than that, you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.